how to talk to girls on the phone. All right, I just broke down a live phone call recording with one of my clients. We dissected the whole call. I thought it was extremely educational. So I wanted to share some insights with you guys, give you the whole structure to a phone call, some mistakes guys make. And at the very end of this, I'll give out an additional tip of how you could actually use the phone to get the girl to just come straight to your house. All right, so let's jump right into this. The first thing I wanna talk about is the structure with you guys of how you should be running your phone calls, right? So the structure is actually pretty simple. You start the phone call, there's gonna be the vibe check, then we're gonna be vibing for the first two to five minutes, and then we're gonna be moving into the idea of us meeting up if it hasn't already been agreed upon. And then we're gonna vibe a little bit more, and then we're gonna end the phone call on a high point. So it's actually a pretty simple structure. It's vibe check, vibe with the girl, set up plans, vibe, end the call on a high point. That's it. You don't need to overcomplicate this. You don't need to talk to the girl for an hour on end. It's actually a short call to give her good emotions and to show her that we're cool and we're fun and get her excited to want to come out with us. All right. So let's go into each one of these really quickly. I'll give you guys some insights into each one of these steps. The first thing is the vibe check. So when you're answering the phone, you guys got to make sure you're in a good state emotionally <laughs> and you have a good vibe to yourself. Don't call the girl when she's like, hello, you're like, hey, what's up? All right. Before you even make that phone call, fucking loosen up, dude. <clears throat> Shake it out. Fucking scream. Like bark a little bit if you need to. Ow! Woo! <clears throat> Laugh a little bit, get yourself into a good ass mood and then make the phone call. So then when she answers the phone, you're like, hey, what's up? What's going on? How you doing? And smile while you're talking to the girl in the very beginning. Very important, guys. It's almost like as if I was opening the girl in person because the smile is going to, it, it bleeds through in your voice and in your communication and it, it creates a good emotion within the girl when she's answering the phone for you. Okay, so first thing is smiling, have a good vibe and be in a good state while you're calling her. She answers the phone, we start talking. The next thing is be prepared to start talking and keep talking. Most dudes, I, I, when I hear the phone calls, they're like, hey, what's up? And very early on, the girl's gonna be like, oh, hey, what's going on? I'm good, how about you? And the dude's like, I'm good. And it's just like, goes like, okay. So why are you calling me? <laughs> All right, so what you guys wanna do is be prepared to keep talking in the beginning of the interaction. I just like to simply talk about my day. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. Even if you, if you had a long work day or if you just finished a workout or if you just walked your dog or if you did absolutely nothing, you could still make it sound somewhat interesting. Yeah, hey, what's going on? I actually, I actually just got back from work. Honestly, it was a pretty hectic day. Some shit went down at work and uh, it kind of hit the fan, but we got it all handled. Got home from work. I was literally just walking into my apartment. I was going to hit the gym in a little bit, so... You know, all is well. How, how about you? What's going on? Or honestly, I was fortunate enough I didn't even need to go into work today. So I, I got to sleep in. I woke up feeling super rested, finally caught up on some sleep. And I literally just walked my dog and it was honestly super relaxing. I feel nice and refreshed. And I'm like enjoying the work week so far. How about you? Or how was your weekend? Or what do you got going on for this weekend? You got anything fun planned? Okay, so this is what the beginning of the conversation is like. We're just vibing, getting good emotions, and pretty much just showing the girl that we're cool, calm, confident, and we have a little bit of a fun vibe going on. That is the very beginning of the interaction, the first one to two minutes. One other crucial part that needs to happen at some point in the first couple minutes of the conversation is there should be some teasing or light flirting going on. You don't wanna just have a super logical conversation the whole time. There needs to be some kind of emotion. So you need to find a way to tease the girl, to make poke a little jab at her or have a little bit of flirting. In the example with my client, when we were just breaking down the phone call, the girl was talking about her day and she said something and my client found a way to tease her on. He was like, oh, you did that? He was like, that's a little bit of a red flag. Okay, so he just said, oh, that's a red flag, no big deal. <laughs> Or there was another example where she was talking about how she would, when they initially met at the club, because he got a phone number from the club. And yes, you can get phone numbers from night game that result in dates, believe it or not. That's another bullshit myth. If you have the right vibe and you understand the whole interaction, you could totally get a number that converts into a date from night game. So he made a callback joke to the initial night they met because the girl was talking about her night and how she never goes out. 
And then my client made it slightly teasing and slightly flirty. And he was like, yeah, it's a good thing you decided to go out that night. And then finally the stars aligned and lo and behold, you ran into me. Or lo and behold, you ran into a, a sweet, charming gentleman. Okay, so he made it a little teasing, a little flirty. It, it wasn't some push-pull line. It wasn't some super gamey conversation the whole way through where he was nagging and doing all this stuff. He just made it, uh, he just had a normal vibe, good emotion, and found a way to tease and lightly flirt with the girl at some point in the first couple minutes of the interaction. Okay, that's the basis to having a good phone call with a girl. Don't be awkward in the beginning. Have something to talk about, even if it's not much, just talk about it in an enthusiastic way. And then at some point you need to find a way to tease or flirt with the girl. All right, you do that in the first five minutes of the interaction, you're gonna be in a really good position. Once those things happen, girls responding well, now we transition into the meetup. Okay, and at some point this in the interaction, it would go something like this. Anyway, what do you have planned for this weekend? Or anyway, what's your schedule looking like for the upcoming next couple days? What's your schedule like for the week? Anyway, when are you typically free? Or what's your availability looking like this week? Okay, at some point we transition into finding out when she's free. Girl's gonna tell you when she's free and then you start baby stepping your way to the close. And what that looks like is bringing up the idea of you guys doing something. So she says, oh, well, I'm probably, I'm gonna be with family on Friday and maybe go out with my girl Saturday, but I might be free at some point Saturday or Sunday. Great, from there I would say, cool, honestly, I think I should be free Sunday as well. I was thinking maybe we could grab a drink. I know a couple of good spots we could go. Okay, so you just suggest an activity on the day that the girl's free. Doesn't need to be drinks. Could be us going out for food, grabbing a bite, cooking, going on a hike, getting a workout in, going out, walking your dog, doing whatever you guys wanna do with the girl. Just pick an activity and suggestively go for that thing, okay? If the vibe's good and everything is going well, the girl will most likely agree to it. It's not so much about the activity that these girls are being hesitant about, it's you that she's hesitant about. So if you have a whack vibe and you're awkward, that's the reason the girl's not coming out with you. If you met a girl out, you got her phone number and you get her on the phone, if you're cool, calm, confident, have a good vibe to you and you could tease the girl a little bit and set up a plan, 99% of the time she's gonna come through and do that plan. The problem with you dudes is that your vibe is whack, you're not confident, you talk way too long on the phone about bullshit, there's no emotion, it's not flirty, and as a result of those things, the girl's iffy about wanting to meet up with you. Okay, if you follow this simple structure, you can run a five minute phone call, the girl's gonna be excited, it's gonna put her at ease, it's gonna reduce the flaking rate, and most likely she's gonna come out and come on a date with you. Okay, so that's the structure. Once you agree on the day and the activity, all you wanna do is a little bit more vibing and then get the fuck off the phone. Get the fuck off the phone. I have clients that bring me like these 30, 45 minute phone call breakdowns. I'm like, bro, you don't need to do all that. If anything, you probably hurt yourself. Unless you're at a really good level with your communication and your game, you're most likely gonna talk yourself out of the pussy that way. Talk yourself out of the date that way, okay? Good vibe, tease, flirt, set up the activity, talk a little bit more, get the fuck off the phone. End it, on a, on, end it on a high point. If you do that, you'll be in a really good place. The last thing I want to talk about is a couple mistakes guys make, which is kind of already discussed a little bit, but just to recap and give you a little bit more insight, it's awkwardness in the beginning of the conversation, not having a good vibe or enthusiasm when you're on the phone with the girl, leaving awkward silences, talking too logical, no, no emotion, no teasing, no flirting whatsoever, no laughter, You you should be having at least a little bit of a cocky smirk on your face while you're talking to the girl. Wait, what? Did you really just say that? Oh, yo, that's a fucking, that's a red flag, okay? What? Wait, you're a Taurus? Oh, shit, yo, I don't know if this is gonna work out. Whatever it is, okay? You tease her a little bit. At some point in the conversation, you move to setting up a date. So many dudes just talk fucking forever and there was never a plan discussed. You talk for a half hour and the girl's like, okay, gotta get going now because you talked way too long and now you just hang up the phone, there was no plans made. Another fucking, another bad move. And then the last thing is just, I have guys that say, how do you deal with reserved shy girls? Or I could never get the girl to come to my house. Or the only girls that are gonna come over are girls that are slutty or too easy and that's not high caliber women. No, dude, that's fucking bullshit. 
That's fucking bullshit. The reason the girl isn't coming to your house is because she's not comfortable with you because your vibe is off or you're too thirsty for the sex. You either indicated you're, you're potentially weird, she doesn't feel safe or secure around you, or she feels like she just want, you just want to get dick her down, okay? That's why she's hesitant about coming to your house. Anybody that knows me, that's comfortable around me, that sees I'm not a threat, would come over to my house. And the reason they're feeling that way is directly proportionate to your vibe, your communication, the way you're running the interaction, the way you're running the phone call and the way you're going about asking her out. So get all of those things dialed in. And then it's not uncommon that maybe the whole date won't be at my house, but at the very least I could usually get the girl to meet over here and I'll be like, cool. I actually know a couple of good spots over by me. Why don't we meet over by me and I'll drive us there together. And that's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. The girl is not low caliber if she does that. The girl's falling into my frame because she feels comfortable with me and I've indicated to her that I'm the fucking guy that she can feel safe, secure, trusting and she's gonna be attracted to all of those things too, okay? That's the phone call breakdown. That's everything you guys need to know about running a smooth phone call. If you guys enjoyed this content and if you want to get more insight from me, you want to learn more about me, my coaching programs and level up your game, click the link in the description, join my MVB program. All right. Very affordable, getting a lot of guys, significant results. Click that link below. I'll see you in the next video. Coach Kyle signing out. Peace out.